Hello Virgo, welcome to your tarot reading. My name is Isabel. Today we're going to be discussing what you can expect in love for the month of May 2018. Now if you haven't already subscribed to this YouTube channel then you can do so by clicking the subscribe button and if you would like a personal tarot card reading you can get one at the tarotempress.com. Just to inform you that once the tarot card readings are sold out they are not going to be filled up in terms of their spaces for this month so if you're looking for tarot card reading in a hurry then you should check out the tarotempress.com quickly. So let's start your tarot reading. We have the Emperor Tarot card and the Four of Swords Tarot card resembling what you're going through in the month of May. Some of you are looking to take a step back from a relationship. You're looking to take back your control and power. So you're going to be in a position of, uh, you know, wanting to be in charge. You're going to be either taking a break from a relationship or ending a relationship during this period. In terms of the person you're dealing with, they are emitting a very different type of energy. Some of them want to offer you love, but at the same time, they're carrying a lot of issues inside them, a lot of baggage. They might be want to be, uh, be in a position in which they are independent, but at the same time, they're trying to communicate with you, and a part of them wants to be romantic so you could be getting messages from this individual and um, they're not all going to be romantic so it's going to shift between a balance of hi baby I love you how are you haven't you missed me etc and then it's going to be like what are you up to where have you been you know so it's going to have that sort of dynamic in which they're going to be cross-questioning you but at the same time they're going to be romantic now, when it comes to how they see you, we have the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Swords. They're seeing you as someone that is feeling really frustrated at this point. They're seeing you as someone that is going through a difficult time. You might be suffering from anxiety, depression, sadness. So they're seeing you as someone that is really imbalanced at this point. The Seven of Pentacles is telling me that you've been in, put in a lot of effort and time into this, and now as a result you know, um, you're feeling frustrated that you're not getting what you want. How you are seeing them, we have the Nine of Wands, we have the Six of Swords. You're seeing them as being very defensive and you're seeing them as leaving the situation. So you are in this position in which this person is not letting you in uh, completely because of course they're trying to, you know, be straightforward on one hand and then they're trying to be romantic on the other hand. So you're not quite sure what you're going to get from them. So... They're trying to leave this situation. You're trying to take a break. You are having grief, sadness, and unhappiness as a result of this situation. Now, in terms of, you know, um, the past, we have the King of Pentacles and the Full Tarot card. You took a chance on this person because you thought they would result in a happy ending for you. You thought they would offer you commitment. You thought that you would have stability, etc. This could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn individual. So you just, you know, you never listen to what everybody else was saying. You just did what you wanted to do at that point of time. You just took a giant leap of faith and say, you know what, I'm going to take a chance on this person. In the present moment now, it seems like you could be dealing with this person and they are all over the place. They could be flighty, flaky, they could be one moment here, one moment gone. So they could be rushing in, sweeping you off their feet and then they're moving on to something else. But at the same time, they want another chance with you. So they want to keep you in the background, but they don't want to let you move on with your life, even though they're trying to move on with their life. So this is a very strange, strange dynamic. It really is. So let's go on to the next tarot card set that is talking about um, the future. We have the death tarot card, the tower tarot card. It's symbolizing an end. It's symbolizing the end of a relationship. It's symbolizing something that's going to fall apart very suddenly. You know, this is all making sense. So there's a lot of games being played here. There's someone wanting to leave the situation, take a break. Someone is uh, at a state in which they are very defensive. You know, so in the past, you took a chance on this person, but it didn't really work out as you had imagined it. Now, in the outcome, we have the two of pentacles, we have the nine of pentacles. That's telling me what? Number one, someone is a juggler. Someone is not being forthright. Someone is either juggling you or another person, or this can be you juggling them and someone else. And the nine of pentacles, symbolizing independence, being single, you know, enjoying life on your own without an individual. So 
That is telling you everything of what's going to be happening in May 2018. It's a really complicated mess. I hope that you understand this tarot card reading. Some of the message will, messages will apply to some individuals, some will not. But if you want a personal tarot card reading, you can get one at the tarotempress.com. So I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Have a wonderful day.